video about the radio that I bought today, Parlo Watley XCR30 Mark II. Uh, there's also um, a manual on the internet. I can't show it here because you have no computer here. But what I wanted to show is the inner side and how beautiful this radio was made. I hope it's visible. When I get closer to this radio, uh, here you see the coarse tuning, here the fine tuning. And a very interesting thing about this radio is that there is an antenna coil here that can be tuned. When I move a knob on the front, you can see that uh, a core, ferrite core, inside the, uh, the, the coil moves up and down. And this is the ideal way to tune an antenna core because you can set um, the antenna uh, coil to the absolute maximum peak uh, resonance. So it's an uh, ideal way to tune an antenna. And here we see, for instance, the shortwave part from the antenna coil. And here, uh, medium wave part in the middle and the long wave part here. So it's a very good design. And there are micro switches here, this one and this one that uh, tune in or shortcut uh, certain parts of the coil uh, that are not necessary or that are necessary. Very intelligent way tuning. You can also see here that all the components are mounted on one board, all closely packed and also very close to the board. Um, that means that their uh, parasitic uh, capacitance or inductance or resistance is very low. Also a good uh, way to uh, make, to construct a shortwave radio. And here's another switch to tune in to all the bands. The interesting thing from this radio is also that it calls itself a crystal controlled receiver. I don't know exactly what it means because you have no schematic, but I assume that um, the oscillator used to tune in to the different radio stations is very stable. Here we can tune to in a coarse way to the frequency band from let's say zero of course that's not real to 30 megahertz and here there's the fine tuning, not a knob. And here we can fine tune. And also here, that's very good, there's a clarifier um, by which we can uh, tune in to um, SSP signals, single sideband signals. So we can also tune in to radio amateur stations. We can choose for the lower sideband or the upper sideband or AM. Of course there are nowadays, uh, 2014, uh, many uh, frequency modulated uh, signals on shortwave. Um, and then I mean hi-fi signals, but also uh, a lot of uh, traditional AM signals. We can pop up this part from the radio and it shows 
meter band, megahertz, etc. And also where we can find radio amateurs, perhaps interesting. They have, of course, their own frequency bands, 1.8 to 2. I think that's a little bit obsolete, but this band is still not obsolete in Europe. And all these other bands are also not obsolete in Europe. So I think it's a very interesting radio. I'm going to test it whether it works or not. Perhaps align it a little bit when it's necessary. And uh, this video is in fact all about how beautiful this radio was made.